Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. So I'm going to put the budget build series on hold until after rotation. Um, there have been a few comments just of not people wanting to spend like their where like the either rare or mythic wild cards, just wild cards in general, on cards that'll be rotating in two months. And a lot of the questions came around making rotation proof decks. So rotation for those who aren't aware, uh, the sets of Dominaria, Ixalan, and M19 will no longer be standard legal sometime in, in September. Um, so it'll only be uh, the two Ravnica sets, War of the Spark, um, and then uh, M20, and then what we have in whatever the Eldaline set is, so the new set in the fall. Um, so without knowing what's in the new set, what I'm going to do is put together a bunch of decks around certain themes uh, that are only uh, going to contain cards that are safe after rotation. So any of the cards you may consider crafting here won't be impacted by the upcoming rotation. So you can feel safe to craft these because they're not going anywhere. Um, so the first deck up, I'll do this for a few of them. We'll run it through some gameplays uh, just to get a feel. Um, so the first one up is a black-white life gain deck. Um, so I'm using life gain as a resource here. Um, so a lot of the cards will have lifelink or gain us life in some fashion. It is a little bit more of a mid-range deck leveraging off planeswalkers. So in the one drop slot, we have Healer Hawk, a one mana, one one with flying and lifelink. Uh, this pairs well with the Johnny's Pride Mate. Um, so although this version is M19, there is a recent one printed um, in War of the Spark. So we have this art here. Um, so I'm just playing this one because I have four ofs, but you can play whichever art you like better. I like the iconic one. Um, so this gets bigger every time we gain life. So this is kind of our... If you draw a parallel to modern, this is our Tarmogoyf, our two mana beater that if it goes unchecked can win the game. I have Donna Hope and Dreadhorde Invasion as two enchantments I want to try out in this build. Uh, so Donna Hope is basically a card draw engine for when we gain life. So this can give us some longevity in terms of the long game, as well as it could either create blockers or serve as a win condition on its own if we flood out. Dreadhorde Invasion, so we lose life each turn originally, but we get zombies. Uh, multiple of these stack, so we get bigger zombies. And so when it attacks with six or greater power, it gets lifelink, which kind of plays into our theme again. Our three job slot is Prison Realm and Obnixus uh, Cruelty and Mortify as removal. Uh, one thing that we're missing out in is a lot of the two mana removal. We don't have Moment of Craving, we don't have Cast Down. We have more situational Color Hate removal, which you'll find in the sideboard. Uh, we also have four Othakayas. So although these are legendary, it gains us life, it serves as removal, and it can kind of be a burn spell in itself. Um, and then we have a Planeswalker package of Kaya that gains us life, exiles, cards, can kind of threaten the opponent. Uh, two Ajani, Strength of the Pride. So this makes more Ajani's Prides mates. Gains us life, and if you have 15 or more life, oh, sorry, 15 more life than your starting life total, so 35 life, you can exile a Johnny and all your opponent's creatures and artifacts. Probably more creatures is relevant. Uh, then we have Soren, which gives our creatures lifelink on our turn, pings them for damage, and can reanimate our pride mates. Um, and then we have Basilica Bellhaunt which is a good ETB effect, so it works well with Teferi if we're playing against. Uh, opponent discards, and we gain three life. Uh, so our mana base, one thing too is we don't get the isolated chapels, so the check lands anymore. Uh, so we're playing Godless Shrine, and in this particular instance, I'm opting for a split of tap lands of both Scourge, Scored Bearings, which gains us life, and two Temple of Silence. Likely what'll happen is we'll just end up going to four Temple of Silence, but... I want to try out the Scorn Barons just to see, and I don't want to have six plus tap lands because it's going to affect our curve. Uh, sideboard, I'll just show you this way so it's a little easier. Um, I don't know why it only picked up one Duress. Uh, okay, sorry about that. This should be... F uh, you can go like this. So I hate how this alternate art for some of the Duress... Like there's three versions, but it always picks the one I have. I don't have four of. Uh, so four duress against control matchups, 
uh, two devote decree, which is exile against uh, red or black spells. Uh, two, sorry, four noxious grasp against green or white planeswalkers or creatures. Uh, two to spark against some of the bigger stuff in the format. Also, it exiles our third copy of Prison Realm and two cryocarnariums versus the more aggressive matchups. I might switch these cryocarnariums to Ritual Assert, but the one thing is cry. Our Johnny Primates would likely be larger than the Cry, so they don't get swept up, where Ritual Soot would sweep them up. So it's something I want to see if it comes up more relevant. Um, so I'm going to run this through a couple... Uh, what are we at rank-wise? Gold Tier 1? Yeah, let's run it through a couple, see how it goes. Um, actually, first I want to play just a normal ranked, and then we'll play it through. I just want to see if the numbers are right. Um, and we'll play it through... Actually, Arena's all wonky today. All right, let's play traditional play. Let's play some rotation black, white, and see how it goes. So this particular list here, um, I posted on the arena subreddit, uh, seeing what people were interested in seeing. This is one that was mentioned a couple times as well for the build series. Um, if there is any other ones that you're looking uh, to kind of get an idea for, do let me know. Um, I was thinking like a Calvacade deck that we can do, some elementals lists. Um, probably some sort of red, uh, red, blue spells matters deck. So I'll play through a couple of these and um, we'll go ahead with that. So this hand here, I think I kind of want to just curve. We'll keep this. I'm going to shock myself. The scorn barons become better on turn three when we have pride mate. So once I do a couple of these, I'll do a full detailed write-up on Aetherhub. Uh, you can check out all my articles now on Aetherhub, as well as any deck list that you see me play on the channel. Um, if you are buying cards on TCG, um, there is an affiliate link that will now be made available. Um, so it'll be in the, com in the deck description, video description on YouTube below. Uh, if you can click that link, it does help me on the channel. It costs you absolutely nothing. It's something you're already doing, and it does help. As well as, uh, if you can, if you could hit that subscribe button, it'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, enough bantering. Um, so they play, this is likely a blue-black Hefnik build. Uh, interesting, they'll probably take the Soren here. Um, they play Pater Pateramander early. I'm fine trading my Healer Hawk for Pateramander. This eventually becomes a 5-5. Five five. Our Hawk is always a 1-1. One one. Uh, the one thing is this deck will have a lot of removal. Okay, so this gets us bigger. And we have another Hawk out. So I haven't seen much Demir recently. It's kind of fallen off. So they might be playing Thief of Sanity. Uh, they might be playing like just a heavy discard version, Doom Whispers in some of them. They can go Kefnet. This most likely is the Kefnet version. Oh, okay, Esper. It's interesting. So we are flooding out a bit. I'm gonna do this now just to pump the Pride Mate. They likely have removal anyways. If not, that's a big chunk of their life gone. Yeah, this. So, Basilica Bell Haunt would be good. Really, any sort of action that's not a land. Or we just draw lands. What is this deck? A weird. It's not really Esper Flash. Because they're playing Pateramander, but I guess just early. They have a Veto that they discarded. Or they uh, surveilled away. Okay, so we have Cruelty. We'll just play the land and pass the turn. I'm going to take the two damage here. I want to see what else they play out before we play this cruelty. 
Um, yeah. So they can adapt this. I'm just going to do this now in case we draw something. They have shown veto. So. Okay, so a Johnny here. Let's see if this resolves. This will be the first test to see how. Okay, so they do have syncopate. A bit unfortunate. I wanted to see how a Johnny plays out here. Hold off the land. Nothing in our deck would cost that much. Okay, so it is an Esper flash deck. We're just Pateramanders. So they blow a Thought Erasure here. All right, well, they're out of cards. And we'll play the land here now since they know we have it. So knowing what we know now, we really want to have a Dread Horde early. Ah, with Sailor as well. Okay. They got us on this one. We're not going to catch up at this point. Spectral Sailor usually means enough. So they're mostly blue based. So unfortunately we have the color spectrum done except blue. So I'm just going to play the Duress and the Cryocarnarium. Um, probably drop the Hawks. I don't mind the Kaya's rat, Othakaya. It's removal. I might just go down the Pride Mates too. It turn it makes their removal a lot worse. Uh, more effectively, like a Planeswalker control deck there. Just play one. They didn't really show anything bigger on their scale. Um, just play like all planeswalkers, try to win through a Johnny. Maybe play two of Johnny's, go down an Othakaya. Try it out like that. So one thing we noticed there, card draw might be an issue in this deck. Um, might want some Lilianas actually in here. Okay, I'll keep this. We avoid the Thought Erasure on our Dreadhorde Invasion, and I don't think they're going to bring, like this deck would have Mortify necessarily. Okay, that's an Opt. Unless they bring Spell Pierce in, which would be quite, okay. Getting that down is big. And I don't think we showed enough for them to bring in Dementify. Okay, so they have the Sailor. Um, I think we pass here. I want to try to catch a couple things with that. And at the very least, it makes our uh, our guy a bit bigger. Othakai is nice too. So here, let's bring out the Bell Hunt. Just force them to discard, puts a nice clock on them. And then next turn we can cry with both of our things being bigger. So I'm going to do this just in case they have Spell Pierce. 
And now we're in a pretty solid spot. Yeah. So... On the draw... Yeah, we just run it back. I think we have to try to mulligan to a Dreadhorde invasion. A Johnny kind of felt a little weak there without a recursive life gain approach. Fountain of Renewal. Uh, this hand is iffy. We need a land and it's gas, but I think we have to mulligan to be safe. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Keep six. I think I just want to keep the removal. We do have an early duress as well. All right, well, we got one turn. Um, they have the melody. So they thought erasure us here. Which is probably worse. Okay, well, not the white source we needed. This is unfortunate. Not the way I wanted to. Okay, so I'm going to Omnixus Cruelty on their turn to try to get them to tap out. I want to get them to get rid of the syncopate because then I can Kaya and just exile this if we draw a white source. God's willing. What is this deck? Yeah, now we're in a little bit of a tough spot. Well, they don't really have much going, so if they want to protect, they have to syncopate. Okay, so we blow the counter out of their hands. Next turn, we can Kaya. Hopefully they didn't draw a counter. Hopefully they don't also have another God's Willing. Okay. That's fine. It's another card out of the hand. We still have the ability to down tick Kaya. Okay, they get rid of the Bell Haunt. See if they play out Pteramander here. They opt not to. Uh, let's start exiling. I want to get rid of the, those guys first. Awesome. That resolved. So I'm just going to start pumping out 1-1s one if they don't actually play to the board. Kaya can start threatening them. Yeah, we'll keep the Dread Horde. And just pass the turn. I don't want to give them a target for Entrancing Melody. If they want to steal our 1-1, one -one, they can. But there's very little value in them doing it. So let's see if they do anything 
to our soldier. I'm gonna pay two here. It's weird that it's a flash deck, they don't have a single copy of Mortify in Esper. Okay, so here now. Oh, just want to plus, submit zero. Pack your bags and hit the road. And really just not commit anything more than we need to to the board. Opponent might have an effect here. You know, that was probably wrong of me plussing here in case they had Spectral Sailor. Um, I think we just want to go wide here, so I'm going to decline. Yeah, and we took down the opponent. So I think the only change I want to make is to have some number of Lilianas. I like the Donna Hope and Dre this together. Johnny was fine. Omnixus Cruelty. So I think main board were fine. The Pridesmates might be a little soft, but we'll see how they go. Um, probably just go down that and play a Liliana. Try that out. Let's play a traditional ranked, see how it goes. I'm probably just going to turn this into black white life gain control. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? Instantly get thought erasured. Okay, well, if we get our lands, then this is a hell of a hand versus mono red. And they got light up the stage, that gets them another runner. Ah! Punished. Okay, so... I think here we just need to offset our life. We stonewall them if we get the bell haunt down. Okay, well, let's get going. I want to start trading with them so it gives us stuff to use with Kaya. Kyle plus to four. So the reason we're blocking here instead of here, the first strike here would allow us to die without trading. Also them attacking Kaya gains us life. Do you have an effect, opponent? No. Okay, so... 
Kaya goes to four. They have to attack with two things. We gain some life anyways. Nothing phases me. So we'll just exile like that. So we could draw a land. We can Kaya gain the life and play out Pride Mate. Makes it a little worse. So play that out. Play Kaya, gain some life. Better watch your back from here on out. So we'll see how they attack in. We've also turned off their lava runners. So they're coming after us. So fortunately, we're f priced into blocking. That's seven. Yeah. The lack of like clean removal main board has come back to hurt us. Just get rid of a pride mate. See pride mate's tricky here because like it dies to so much of our opponent's board. They have 9-10, yeah. They got us. Johnny's felt weird this entire match. Probably just going to cut it for more Liliana's. Um, in this matchup, okay, it's a sorcery speed, so worth noting there. Bring in the Karais. Um, probably bring in Dispark. They'll play likely uh, some of the bigger stuff. I don't think I. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the Pride Mates. Probably get rid of a couple invasions as well. How do we win this game? So maybe go up. No, probably play Liliana. Play some number of duress. Haven't liked these Ajani's. Tons of removal, try to planeswalker them out, healer hawks. Cut down a healer hawk for another duress. Maybe play one invasion. The thing is with Chain Whirler. Like we don't have Fountain of Renewal, we don't have a couple things. So we'll have to see how it goes. We'll play first. Uh, we'll keep this hand. Gonna scry first. We wanna set up our draws. I'll take the land here. Soren just could kinda gain us life in this matchup and Soak up some hits while we get Liliana going. Them missing a one drops really good for us. We curve nicely Othakaya the Steamkin into a Soren. Play this out, play Soren, gain a life. They want to attack us, it costs them something. Uh, yeah, I still think we go Soren. This gets rid of it anyways, no matter how big it gets. Uh, 
Ah, uh, they got the Tybalt. So, we do need to poke Tybalt. Okay, so let's see what's going on in the opponent's hand. Fry, we'll get rid of our white stuff. Probably just get rid of Fry. So poke him there. Get rid of Steamkin here. No more lands. So the reason we did that is they can double sh lightning strike the Soren if they want to take it off the board. Which I'm fine with. And they'll either have to kill Tybalt here. Ah, unfortunate. They got another one back. Okay, so Donna Hope, play it, draw some cards. Just pass turn here. So I want to start just picking off a couple of these. So when Liliana comes down, she can do her stuff or just get him to bait some of these lightning strikes. Okay, so they're going after Soren now. This suggests to me they're using both the lightning strikes. So I'm going to do this to keep Soren. That actually doesn't matter. Either way, they hit me for one and they get to get the light up the stage value. Steamkin and Chain Whirler. Kind of sucks. Uh, At the very least, this will draw some cards. We have a Mortify. Now, now. Don't be pushy. So, really just want to draw cards here. Bell Haunt's nice. Okay, so how much mana do we have? We can duress them, see what's going on, make a zombie and play Bell Haunt. Okay, well, this Tybalt is doing some work. Obviously, you make them discard the Chain Whirler, they draw into a Chain Whirler. Um, yeah, I think we just do this. And this draws us two cards as well. So Donna Hopes don't stack that well, so we want to do this so we can make a token and mortify. <laughs> they do have to be mindful, like we are indirectly killing them with the Othakaya. <laughs> So, make a token, mortify one of these. Just block.
block like that. See if they get rid of the zombie or... Okay, so they go after Lily. Chandra Spitfire. Okay, so... Couple options here. We can... Oh, we can't negative Chandra. So in that case... Cast Othakaya, keep the new one, get rid of the Spitfire. We want to kill Tybalt, got him. Much better that game. Um, do we run it back? So they have the Tybalt, so make some of this other stuff worse. So yeah, I think we just run it. Do you just want the Pride Mates as early blockers? I imagine they have to be playing either Chandra or um, Frenzy. Looks like a pretty stock mono red list. So we also need to be mindful of Tybalt, so we might want Elder Spell in here. Mind you, we have the Decree, so we might want to go up 3-3 uh, three, three on those with um, Noxious Grasp. Alright, what do we got? Um, yeah, like Cry cleans it up. So they want to blow a shock here, keeps our life total high. So just get rid of this now. Want to try to scry into a land. We just want to curve out here. Chain Whirler kind of sucks here. Spitfire. Uh, it's a little awkward. No attacks. Ah. Uh, that's really good. So this is a game where Ritualists would have been better. So, this is what we want to kind of keep an eye on. Actually, Soren getting back Bell Haunt is a pretty nice play here. Does mean we kill it. Oh, well we got a second one. Hey, if we can keep chaining them. Please. Do this now while it's still worthwhile. Okay, so they have another fry. Trigger still goes on the stack, so they gotta discard something. The unfortunate thing is with the first strike, we don't get the lifelink to try to draw cards off it. Nah, they refill their hands. Also makes the blocking a little unfortunate. So we can just try plussing here. Uh, 
and then try to cry next turn and clean up the board. It's been a bit of an awkward draw. Ah, that's the worst. Okay, so Othakaya is here. So at least it pings them. So I think we need to get rid of the Spitfire. We have a harder time dealing with flyers. This also means they have to attack Chain Whirler into this. This cry has gotten a lot better. Ooh, another Sorin. So, take a turn off, sweep the board. Play out Sorin. Get back Bell Hunt. Probably too late. All right, so we definitely need to have ways of dealing with Planeswalkers. Lightning Strike. Okay, well, we got Prison Realm. That buys us a turn. Gets rid of a Lava Runner, but I think we're dead regardless. Let's keep it. Guarantees. We're dead to literal... Yeah. Well... Yeah, because we can't create a token, so opponent's got us. Uh, that one is tough. We need to adjust our sideboard. For a life gain deck, we're quite hampered by that. Um, all in all, I don't know how I feel about a Johnny. Felt a quite a bit win more. I think I just want some more removal. Um, this really didn't do much in this matchup. Um, but it's a good shell. So definitely something we could continue building on. Like I said, we're going to continue this with a number of other decks. Um, so if you have any recommendations, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and you can catch any of my content on the YouTube channel and any of my write-ups on Aetherhub. Have a great one.